Right, we've done Classic, we've done Events, we've done All-Star. Stadium is just kind of like home run and one now, which Stadium I'm is pretty much what was in the 3DS version. That's already been covered. Yeah, this stuff, don't really care about that. Special Orders, though, that's where it's at. Yeah, these are the uh, new Wii U exclusive modes, you know, in Solo here. Uh, go with my boy Shulk over here. So do you want to explain what's uh, what's the deal here? Master Orders basically gives you uh, several tickets. You pay uh, money to access particular fights. You know, some of them are easy, some of them are hard. And depending on the uh, level of challenge, you can unlock particular rewards. This and the other mode, um, Crazy Orders, are probably the best ways to find CDs, I've found. I mean, at least until we can get to Amiibo to uh, train them to pick up CDs for us. Alright, I can do this. Get the star, get the star. Didn't get the star. It's alright, it's alright. I'm kind of panicking now. The pack is attacking. What level was this? Uh, this was an easy difficulty one, so I really hope I don't lose. It's stamina, I should be fine. Oh, someone just died. Want me. Goodbye, Pac-Man. Goodbye, Pac-Man. Properly this time. They're all dead. Goodbye. <laughs> he just stood there. Damn, man. You killed him! You stabbed him in the chest! That was pretty brutal. Oh my god. You, Mario. You. This is going inside. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Better call a doctor. I am Dr. Mario, and oh my god, what the hell did you do? Alright, so I unlocked another one. Yeah, and that's pretty much Master Orders. You only take on single battles uh, with varying rewards. I find Crazy Orders more interesting, personally. Well, let's play a few of these, see how we go. Probably won't be on this mode for too long, so we have one kind of large thing to check out. Let's see pilot wings get a bit of representation. I always wanted to play the N64 version, but never got a chance. I like this version of the stage, though, because it kind of evokes those Mode 7 graphics, you know, from the SNES. Ah, uh, good old Woohoo Island. I mean, otherwise I haven't really played Pilot Wings. I just think this is a cool stage. Sometimes that's all you need. That was hard. That was hard? Yeah. <laughs> were we just talking about this guy? I think we were. I think he heard us. <laughs> Time for your daily dose. Dr. Mario, waste a slot. Oh, don't, don't be dissing the doc. I'm gonna diss him a little. I really don't. Well, we already know my stance on that. He's a dodgy little sucker. Slower but stronger, that's pretty much this flavor of Mario. I'm, like, completely attuned to playing uh, the 3DS version of the game. You know, now that we're seeing a lot of uh, Dr. Mario pellets being on screen, I'm still wondering when I'm going to get my new Puzzle League game. I want it! I'm making it like an eShop game. That'd be perfect! Yeah, they should really utilize the eShop more for, like, smaller stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, again, like Puzzle Challenge and other stuff. Like, Trozy was a good start, but the damn thing didn't have a battle mode, so what was the point? Get out. Not quite. And as we know, this uh, Dr. Mario also has the Mario Tornado, uh, Mario's old downbeat. Yes. Do 
don't need a retake this time. Yes. Dr. Mario. <laughs> why did you put that O at the end? I don't get that. I think that's honestly a mis... Like a mis... Typing. A typo, you mean? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, um... Hmm. Very hard. Okay, I'll give this a shot. Oh my god, they're metal as well. I didn't see that until I clicked on it. Oh boy. Alright, things kind of went south in a, a metal match. He actually ate me up and spat me out, so... Let's try an easy one this time. i got to build up my pride again. Yeah, you got to build up for crazy orders. This is just multi-man melee right here. Pretty much. You did okay, kid. Take the special move. You know, I haven't really touched customs that much, let's be honest. Really? Yeah, like, I'm mostly focused on my standard moveset and learning how to best use that. This will probably be the last one, then we'll move on to crazy order. They're so tiny, it makes them very easy to launch. It just feels mean. What, like I'm bullying them or something? <laughs> Pretty much. Even Link has a tiny little tornado. Ha! Goodbye, Mini Rosalina. It's like Gulliver's Travels. A <laughs> little tiny Thoron. Find it hard to believe that's a. Oh my god, it's the Bubbling King. Hey, you guys have fun over there. Oh, there goes Mini Robin. Mini Link is uh, pretty resilient. Now it's short time. I wonder what music you get. Ooh! That's Kirby, right? Yeah, Kirby Superstar, the final battle of Milky Way Wishes. Let's have a listen. Well, you'll have to because the sound is off <laughs> from my end. Pretty creepy. I'll check it out fully later. Okay, let's move on to Crazy Orders because we've got quite a bit to cover in this one. Crazy Orders. And the thing about Crazy Orders is that you take on a series of battles, and you try to get as high as you go without losing. And then you can take on Crazy Hand at any time. Now, the more damage you have when you take on Crazy Hand, the more HP you'll end up with when you fight him. But Crazy Hand won't be alone. He actually will have CPU uh, characters helping fight you, so you got to watch out for that. But if you hurt them and hurt Crazy Hand, you can pick up additional treasure. Okay. I'm probably just going to play like one or two, and then uh, we'll go on and fight Mr. Crazy Hand, because time is ticking on here. This stage is fucking terrifying, by the way. <laughs> This is from WarioWare, isn't it? Yeah, um, the gamer stage. Oh, man. <laughs> I think we'll do three or so. That'll be enough. Okay, sounds good. Ready, go. Keep the pressure on. Don't let him recover up. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking tactics here like I know what I'm doing. Charizard is our friend in this battle. He friended me on Facebook. It's pretty great. It's kind of annoying. 
He's always like, "Rawr! I am Gen One, the best." He always keeps playing fucking Farmville and putting it on my feet. I don't give a shit about that. Right. <laughs> like real talk, that's one of the reasons why I quit Facebook. I really don't give a fuck about that stuff. Yeah, if I want to play a game, I got plenty of them right here. Like I I'm not telling you all the time when I'm playing, right? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice job, Charizard, I guess. All right, one more. Let's do a free for all. I like to use backslash to move about the arena. Don't judge me. Well, can I judge you a little? Um, I th yeah, I think you've earned it. All right, I am already there judging you. This is a pretty cool stage because you got the background and you got the foreground. I haven't played uh, this version of the stage nearly enough yet. I'll have to do that come the holidays. You'll never see this kind of hype for, like, an online multiplayer card game, you know? Like, uh, like, say they made, like, a version of Magic the Gathering for Wii U. There's not going to get that kind of level of hype behind it. Probably a good job I was paying attention there. Goodbye, Falco. <laughs> Bye. Alright, let's go take on Senor Crazy Ant over there. What are my rewards so far? Yeah, you can check him by pressing the Y button. A singular special move. Eh, whatever. <laughs> He's like, bring it. Danger Rap! I can't go that high. Danger Rap is pretty good, actually. Like, it's one of my preferred Mega Man customs. Okay, that's... Whoa, okay, yeah. Fighting this guy is fraught with danger, because he's kind of unpredictable. I guess that's the point of Crazy Hand, and you want to make sure to pick up the treasure chest, too. I thought he would have his uh, AI partners, but I guess, um, you know, if you go past a certain amount of stages, that's only when they come out. And this is a stamina battle, so... Can't forget that. Okay, I should probably stop being greedy. Oh, that's not fair. Goodbye. See, he sounds like a... A kid, or at least a teenager, screaming in pain. <laughs> well, you did stab a laser sword into his hand. This is true. This is very true. Ooh, I got a shulk special move. Okay. Good enough for me. Even got a bonus thing for destroying Palutena. The Juck? Crazy hand. No character approaches for that. Okay, fair enough. We have one more thing to show off, and I'm not actually sure where it is, so I might have to back out a bit. It's in uh, Smash Tour. There it is. There we go. The Mario Party that wasn't. Yeah, this is basically the exclusive mode for uh, the Wii U version compared to 3DS's uh, Smash Run. Honestly, I find both of them pretty fucking annoying at times. Yeah, I would have just preferred an adventure mode, like one from Melee. Yeah, something like that. Like, I like the idea where, um, you know, you're on a game board and you can get, like, power-ups and you use your fighters as stocks, you know, so you have to be good in general to uh, play. But I think it's way more fun with friends, because with the CPU, I don't know, it just, it's subject to so much randomness at times that it's incredibly frustrating to play. So it's kind of like, Smash Tour, and that really wasn't the best kind of thing uh, for me to start with, but uh, it's kind of like Smash Tour in that you go around and you collect, like, power-ups. Yeah. Alright, let's go. 
And you can also let the CPU uh, fight the battles for you, maybe in case you know you're on a character you can't use particularly well, but I would recommend taking charge anyway as best you can. And by the way, these matches are really short, they're like a minute tops. The God Hammer! Oh, there goes Falco. There goes Luigi. It's just, again, if you go in knowing there's going to be a lot of randomness, you'll have more fun with this mode. But uh, my main problem is that oftentimes the game will deal people items that just make them win these matches super fast. Like, you can get, like, when you start the match, you can use an item that gives you a hammer, and then you just walk over and kill everyone instantly. I'm like, what's the point, man? Like, some of the items are not picked <laughs> very well, I'll be honest. I think they just cranked the item ratio up so the battles can be over even faster than the time limit allows. Well, yeah, but at the same time, it just becomes like a dice roll sometimes. And uh, if you beat someone, you can actually take the fighter they were using if they're in, like, second place. Okay, so he knocked me to a different portion of the board. That's fine. Yeah, and you want to go around to uh, the checkpoints, because once you do that, you get checkpoint a special checkpoint bonus. And you want to, like Smash Run, you want to pick up as many uh, power-ups as you can. Increases the effect of stat boost you get. Interesting. There's going to be a battle on every turn, isn't there? Well, no. Uh, sometimes you can avoid them. You just got to make sure you don't hit at anyone accidentally. All right, I'm rolling the dice myself here. I'm going to let the CPU for it. This should be interesting. Let's see how it works out. Wow, Tom, you're really good! I, I know, right? Suddenly I know how to use a character I've used maybe once or twice. <laughs> and then we say that and immediately the CPU Greninja gets hit by the fucking cars. There go I, I guess. There are a lot of Pokemon in this particular fight. That's true, and Galaga, Lord Galaga, I suppose he counts. Galaga's my favorite Pokemon. I have to question why Mario still has Flood. Yeah, Flood has never really been, like, nobody really uses Flood, I think, even if you do play Mario a bunch. Well, it's knockback and that's about it. Yeah, I see more use of the cape, because it actually has a good tactical advantage. Okay, I'm... zero for two so far. Good. Kind of wish this was online, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think online, it, this would really bolster the uh, viability of this mode more. Okay, gonna go this way, then go that way. Finally, a turn without a fight. I can't believe I'm saying this in Smash Bros. I think only, like, near when the game's about to end, like, every turn becomes a fight, even if you hit someone or not. Wow, my, like, my luck with these dice rolls is terrible. Yeah, I hate that too. It's super easy to accidentally get one. Launches rivals as you go past. Ah, Dylan's Roland Weston. Fuck that, I'm taking charge of my man Olimar over her. Control your destiny. Triumph or die! Really sick Charizard. Ready? He's got Pokey Rust. Oh, that'd be a good thing, because Pokey Rust is the shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you he was sick. Come on, Tom, you can beat the CPU. Have faith in yourself. I thought I could. I had trouble. Because they give you random fighters that I don't know how to fucking use. I also hate this stage because you think you can go through the platforms, but no, you can't. Oh, goodbye, Bowser. See ya, bitch. So long, eh, Bowser? Oh, the bombs, the bombs. Five, four, three, two, one, 
Oh! She was being launched! I think you won that? Well, I got a fighter at the very least. You won that. I'm gonna count that as a win. So the more characters I obtain, the more I'll have for, like, the final showdown. Yeah, the final uh, battle, the uh, fighters you have obtained uh, are basically your stocks. Which, again, I like that gimmick, it's just that it's way too random, I think. Like, even for Smash, man. Alright, CPU free, let's go. Transformation Smash, are you guys Autobots? Let's do this. Oh, you're on Bowser for this. Board air. Board air all day, every day. Well, you want to be mon um, in moderation. It can leave you open, but it's a good approach for Bowser in general. Did you go Giga Bowser? <laughs> yeah! Ooh! All the bitches in Luigi's Mansion say so yeah. Wow, I actually won one. Because Bowser is beast. He really is. Sweet, now I've got four characters to choose from. Well, they'll go in order for the uh, final battle. I really should focus on uh, getting my stats up. How, how do I use uh, different trophies and whatnot? You press a direction. Try, it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, okay, there we go. They do it that way so you can make your choice discreetly uh, when you're playing with other people. Which is good. I'm playing against CPUs, I won't mind a bit of feedback. CPU 1 has no fighters available, so... They'll give them, like, some booby prize fighters, though. Whoa, nicely done, villager. Why does he have a reflector? He stole it. Can you do that? You can do anything. Oh my god, that guy's invisible. Fox is invisible. Oh, I just realized that. I was fixing to say, I'm like, why the fuck does he have a- Oh my god. I'll just let you guys fight. <laughs> Hammers are falling everywhere. He's not invisible. This is not a very exciting mode, I'm gonna be honest. This is kind of a clusterfuck. Oh, here comes the crab! Goodbye everyone, including the crab. Well, I lost Bowser, but I've still got Olimar and Wii Fit Trainer, so not too big of a loss. Gotta make some circuits as well. Really letting myself down here. Finally, a big dice roll. No fights? Good. Good. It, it says a lot when the random fights are something I kinda wanna avoid. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a big problem with Smash Tour in general. Sweet, thanks for the free trophies. Doubles the result of my spin. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> you get a one. I've had that happen to me. Go forward and get your fighters. Free shit. Doing pretty good so far. You want to get that Ashley trophy because she can slow down the spinner. Uh, I'm good for now. I just want that Marth up there. You want some, mate? It's always CPU free. What is your beef? They're called guests, I just realized. 
They're the amis that came with the system. I'll need to delete those. I believe, uh, I know my sister has a me on here, and my uh, cousin. Maybe I should just let everyone else fight. Well, that's true, but you still gotta try and get first place. They do really give you an incentive to do good in these fights. Okay, Mario is poisoned. Good stuff. Really nice music in this one. Get the fuck out of my place. I love that everyone has come packed with their own shore you can. Uh, use none for now. There we go. Two whole things. Oh, wait, no, this works out in my Get Pac Man. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Two whole moves. <laughs> Stop fighting! Can't we sell this normally? CPU 3 doesn't get to play. It's about time. He's got a bit of an attitude on him, does the CPU 3. I need to make a- I need to make like an end on me, just to beat him up. Oh, we've stopped doing retakes, let it go. That's one hell of a hammer. Keep doing the side B, when what I mean to do is up and B. And it's just giving Lucario juice to do his aura thing. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's like the Portal 2 turrets. I thought Kirby's hammer was smaller, too. Uh, goodbye, Kirby. <laughs> Kirby went back to his home planet. Did anyone even win that match? That was a total draw. Alright, let's go down a bit, I guess. It's too bad you're not close enough to get Little Mac. That probably couldn't come in really handy for the last one. Why'd he pick four? He had the slowdown. He could have gotten a six. Not today, CPU 3. Not today. CPU 3 doesn't know what he's doing, let's be honest. Uh, use none. There we go. Riki Sneaky. Just gotta bide my time now, build up stats as best I can. I think upper than right would be best here. Whoa, what the fuck? How many turns are left? Uh, about four or so. Awesome. Everything's coming up, Anton. Somebody's gonna head towards Ridley, though. CPU 3! Everyone, pile on the man! Yeah, focus on killing Ridley in this match. Never really used Wii Fit Trainer, though, so I'm kind of at a disadvantage here. Yeah, Wii Fit Trainer has, like, these really awkward hitboxes. Ah, oh, apparently very good at dodging giant pterodactyls, though. Did you CPU this one? No, nope, this is all me. Okay. What is even going on? Now I'm small!
Oh, good by me. I'll get my great juice power up. You too can be Ridley. Uh, not that big of a loss, I'm gonna be honest. Not that Wii Fit Trainer's bad, just that I can't control her very well. I think if you hit that uh, heart checkpoint, then you'll get a checkpoint bonus. Oh, this will help. Go away, CPU free! Jesus! Hey, he knocked out your Marf, the bitch! Oh my god, so he did. Last round. Switches the other players around. Let's go with that. Well, at least I can go for the checkpoint. There you go. Okay. So I have four players left. That's four stocks, right? Yeah, pretty much. Olimar, eh. Pac-Man, I can use okay. Kirby can use okay. Ness, not really a lot at all. Thankfully, I seem to have the most stocks out of everyone so far. That person has like three full stats. That's bullshit. CPU 2. <laughs> it's like the, the underdog that no one paid attention to. By the way, don't be surprised if you lose this. I've never been very good at winning these either, because again, they're still kind of dicey. Just gonna stay back here, pluck some Pikmin, start firing them off. I think uh, I was playing a Smash Pro with my sister, and it got to a point where um, I believe my last guy was Little Mac. Like, I got hit in time, like right when the tyrant went out, and I put down the controller and then suddenly, sudden death! Oh shit, gotta pick it back up! And then the other two hit each other, KO'd themselves, I'm just sitting there going whatever. <laughs> Didn't mean to downplay the tragedy, I'm just getting used to uh, using Pac-Man without the use of a circle pad. No, it wasn't a tragedy. I won, but it was just like a complete dicey win. I was like, whatever, dude. Right, gotta be careful, it. Everyone's dying. Mass murder. Meow. Hell, I think Pac-Man has more of a Mario-style jump than Mario does. I have no idea how I dodged that. By the way, fucking love the sound of the home run bat. Goodbye, I guess. I thought that would have killed. Hmm, apparently not. Oh no, get out of the way of a bomb of snow. Hey, you just go over there and have fun. Did they change Kirby's up and B? Uh, no, it's the same. There seems to be, like, a little lag at the end of it now. Nice hit! Don't do it for too long. Remember, Kirby takes damage the more he charges side B. Oh boy, here comes Andros. Okay, we're just gonna do the Kirby shuffle here. That sounds like a terrible, like, if Kirby was dubbed in the 90s, do the Kirby shuffle. Kirby right back at you, version 2.0. I need a assist trophy to take care of that there, Kirby. No problem. Eh, 
And there goes Little Mac. It comes down to this. Ah, oh, I'm probably gonna lose this because my only one left is Nez or Ness. You got Sonic though. Do I? Oh, so I do. Nice. Fucking Majora. Piss off. This is fun for nobody, just like Mario Party. And you've already got an item, go away. Stop being greedy. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Bye. Get out. How exactly was that sun death when I had a stock left? I don't fucking know. <laughs> and that was Smash Tall. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, personally. I don't either. <laughs> I don't even want to say that Smash Run was any better. I think they kind of screwed the pooch on like single player uh, super mode, too. Yeah, Smash Tour is best with friends, and Smash Run, conservatively. But on your own, don't. It's not really worth it. Okay, we got a well, lacy headband. Definitely gonna equip that. All right. A steampunk outfit, just in time for Codename Steam next year. A bunch of equipment that I probably won't equip. We got a Goomba, and we have a Greninja move. Challenges, of course, the achievements of the game, pretty much. Yeah, I looked at the challenge board for this, and I was like, how come the 3DS version is so much easier to accomplish for the most part? And that's pretty much it. There are other boards, of course, of course. You can, you know, play with more turns if you're into that kind of thing. But um, I, I think we've covered pretty much everything here, for the most part, anyway. You know, there's stuff like music and uh, tutorials and the like. But this was mostly um, just to show you the main modes of the game. Um, stay tuned next week for real content. Goodbye. <laughs>